Alright man, whoa, what's good bro? My name is Flimlo Raps and today we got our 40,000 subscriber Q&A. Um, first I just gotta send a huge thank you man. Huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed, um, especially my core sub base that watches all of my videos man even bigger shout to y'all that watch the whole video even bigger shout to y'all that follow me on the social medias man um commenting liking the videos sharing the videos bro obviously there is no channel you know what i mean without you guys and let me get my energy up i just got up but this is a historic occasion almost to the point where you know, yesterday I was kind of in a celebratory mode, man. And I normally don't allow myself to even do that. Like, I'll hit a milestone and I just keep it moving. <clears throat> Hopefully, you couldn't really tell because I still did like five, six videos yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Getting it in. But it just it feels good, man. I can't lie. Like, I don't know why 40 hit me so hard. Like, 40 hit me a lot harder than than 20. Like, 10, 10 was big, too. 20 was great. You know, 30 was cool. But it's something about 40. And I think it's because my channel started to really slow down after 30. And then we had to add Apocalypse. And then, you know, so much stuff where a lot of YouTubers quit, fell off, and stopped uploading. And... I went through a period where it was tough, man. Matter of fact, like this entire period has been very, very tough. I will spare you the details, but you, most of y'all already know. Um, I had to pick up the Uber, and it's a bunch of other stuff that you don't know that you know I, I don't really let off, but that we had to do, man, in order to survive and take care of the fam. So my ad situation has seems to be leveling out. I won't feel that for a couple months because, you know, that's just the way the, the pay structure works. Like, the next two checks are already locked in from Apocalypse Days. And even those aren't terrible, they aren't quite enough. But, I, of course, I got a plan, you know. And uh, I'm blessed, bro. That's all I can say. I'm so, so blessed because even when it got ugly, when it got real bad, you know, um, I just feel like it always, it always worked out. You know, it would always work out. Just gotta keep the faith, keep it moving, man. And I, I thank you guys for all the support. Special shout out to my patrons, too. Y'all don't know how huge that was during this whole process, man. You might look at it and be like, well, Flim, that's, dude, trust me. It's a big deal, man. Thank y'all so much, man. 40K. Let's go. All right, we got the QA today. Now, I don't know what Call of Duty gameplay I got in the back. I didn't have time to go get new gameplay, so what I'm gonna probably do is take some gameplay I had on my other channel that most of y'all probably haven't seen, and I'll probably use that in the background. I don't know how long this is gonna take, so I'll have to figure that out in uh, post-production. But for now, let's go to Twitter, Flimlo40K. First and foremost, thank you to everybody that sent me a, uh, a question here as I put these in order and scroll to the bottom so we we'll get to the first question. All right, man, let's kick it off. First question is from Kyle B. Lit. What were your stats when you played football in college? When I was in college, I never really got into the game. I've gone over this a lot, I think, in my streams, but maybe never addressing in the video. I was either hurt or ineligible, in trouble, skipping practice. <laughs> I was... Um, and that's why I say, like, I'm older now, but at that time, I was really a knucklehead. I've always been a rebel. I'm still a rebel. And I pretty much rebelled against a lot of things that were going on with the team and just the college football system in general. And I didn't handle it the best way. The way I handled it was detrimental to myself. But technically, it all happened for a reason because it led me on the path. It was a long path, but it led me on the path to get where I am now. Um, King... Seven uh, King J seven two ninety eight asks, "When is UTEP coming back?" I don't know, bro. Um, I don't know that UTEP is coming back. I initially I thought UTEP would be coming back, but I didn't really know the trajectory of the channel. And so what's happened now is I've realized that we can capture that magic not just with UTEP. And obviously, I love UTEP. That was my first team, my first rebuild, my first dynasty on youtube man and it brought us a lot of success it brought a lot of subs in um but like now i'm loving Rutgers. you know what i mean 
with some aquaport. Like I said, I just got up. I throw a little wop today. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. So I don't know if and when UTEP is coming back. Uh, Flynn, will you play Madden or NC with your subs? Uh, that's from Forrest Gunther. Man, I don't know. Maybe at some point. I really don't. I prefer. I'm more of a solo gamer. I've really started to realize. Especially on sports games. I prefer playing by myself. I'm having some issues now in the group. In the online dynasty that I'm in. Already. I've barely been in the group. But just really, really. Just having to deal with people on that level, man. I won't go into it here. I might drop a video on it. But, you know. I'm very competitive and I try not to be super, super competitive with these video games because for me, I'm very obsessive and it starts to take away the enjoyment for me. So I stop enjoying it. I don't want to do it every day. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I've always kind of stayed away from that because I know how I am. And I know that probably seems like, oh, come on, trust me, bro. Trust me. Javari is asked. Um, how many seasons do you think you would do with Rutgers? I have no idea. Um, generally, how I do it is, is as long as there's interest from me and from the viewers. Right now, we're all loving it. We got new recruits coming in that we haven't played with. Like we have, we've barely scratched the surface. So it's gonna be a while. You know, we haven't won anything. You know what I'm saying? So I usually give it at least two natties, at least two natties before I dip. So right now, I'm really enjoying Rutgers. Um, I, I mean, I don't see me leaving no time soon. Um, Film 40K, when do you think Gridiron Champs is coming out and keep up the good work? That's from uh, Destin Gene Lewis. Um, I think, if I had to put a date on it, I think Gridiron Champions may be able to come out in 2019. Uh, right now, we're still trying to get the funding and everything going, man. We've been getting a ton of support from all of you guys. I want to thank you so, so much. We're well over 100,000 players, uh, but we still got a ways to go. You know, we got some athletes on board. We got people on board. We got investors on board. But, you know, we still got a ways to go. Once we can get the funding done, we can go into development. Once we can go into development, you know, with money. At that point, I'm putting out content at least every week, if not every day. <laughs> or new information and behind the scenes stuff. And I told Alex and Kel, once development starts, they got to kick me out. They gotta kick me out, you know what I'm saying? Which at some point I'm sure they would like go home, bro. You know what I mean? You 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 aggravating everybody. You you keep asking these questions. Why you why you why you vlogging all the time? We trying to work. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I don't. You're right. Let me let me get out of here, man. But look, can you add? <laughs> That's how I'm gonna be. Anyway, um, Nate asks. What's your favorite college football team and why? I don't have a favorite college football team. Why? Because I'm more geared toward, I'm more for the players. Like, I really, really, truly am. That's not a cop-out. That's always been my thing. Um, there's usually a player that is my favorite player, and so I end up pulling for his team. Last year, that was Deshaun Watson. My second favorite player was Jabril Peppers last year. Obviously, both of those guys are gone, so I'm going to have to develop new favorite players. There's guys that I like, but I don't know if I'm ready to call somebody my favorite. You know, we'll, we'll decide. I'll, I'll look into it. And to become my favorite player, it usually has a lot to do with your backstory. Co co that's coincidence. <laughs> but, you know, I guess it's not. I just never thought about it. But, yeah, I know I do stories and stuff on the channel. But that stuff connects me to players. Like, I don't always just pick who I think is the most talented guy. It's not always going to be my favorite player. Like, it's going to be based on, you know, what does this guy have to go through? What is his character like? Oh, I'm pulling for him. I want that dude to do well. You feel me? That's usually how it goes. And then from there, I start to like his teammates more and like the team more. And then for that year, I'll be wanting them to win. You feel me? Um, will you ever play? Oh, wait, wait. I'm skipping. Sorry. Brilliant Swift asks, what series do you think helped grow your YouTube the most? And how has your channel changed your life for better and worse? Whoa, Brilliant Swift. That's a deep question. That's the first put the phone down question and answer it. All right. <clears throat> so the series that has grown my channel the most, without a doubt, and it's a mini series. Um, I think it's the last chance you 
mini series that I did. Like all those spotlight videos have the most views on my channel. You can go and look at it. Uh, that DJ Law videos got over 200,000 views. The John Franklin one over 150,000. All of them have over like right at 100K views. And I dropped these videos when I had like 10,000, maybe 15,000 subscribers. All right, and that really, matter of fact, some of them came out before 10K, I think the first one did, but that really started to uh, to move my channel in a, in a crazy direction. So the last chance you, and then after that, we had a crazy amount of growth. Also, when I first premiered TD in college, that thing was going crazy. The algorithm has changed since. Like at that time, I think like still meant a little bit more for the algorithm now i don't think likes mean very much <laughs> just based on the research and my analytics but yeah that's what i'm thinking now how has youtube changed my life for the better okay now my life has changed like every two months since i started youtube so you know this is one of those questions that it's it would have my answer would have been different three four months ago before the ad situation but basically it has I'll go deep. Let's go deep here, okay? It has unlocked my potential. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't reached the potential yet, but it's unlocked it. Because before, I remember having conversations with friends. Um, the friend of mine, um, he actually still worked with another friend of mine. Now I haven't spoken to him in a while, but a uh, white guy named uh, Matt. Me and Matt was talking because I was a beast in, at the job we were at. He was a salesman, salesman, and I was just kind of, yeah, whatever. But I was the best, you feel me? But I really wasn't, I wasn't like them as far as, I didn't just take it that serious. I was just, I was just good at it. My girl's calling me right now, hang on. Hello? And in that conversation, I was telling them, I feel like I always have run on 70%. Even when I played football, when I was in college, I probably was running on 50%. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just never could go all out for something that wasn't 100% guaranteed. You feel me? And when I started YouTube, that's the first time in my life I was able to. Because I always felt like, don't take this the wrong way. I always felt like I was special, honestly. I always have. I've always felt like I was extremely talented. But I just never could find whatever that thing was. So, YouTube has really allowed me to feel like I'm getting there, you know, I'm publishing books, I'm, I'm getting these brand deals, we're working with IMV, we're building a game, you know what I mean, and my channel, what we've cultivated here, pretty much all on my own, I've not done any uh, collabs, anything like that, not to say that I never will, but, you know, it just gotta feel, it gotta make sense, like, even people I'm cool with, I haven't done collabs with, just because our content is different, you know what I'm saying, so, so I feel like YouTube has really allowed me to be able to express my creativity and make a living from it, man. I get to wake up every day and, you know, do something I love to do. And it's amazing. <clears throat> okay, next one is from Lil Hawk 228 Will you ever play Call of Duty with subs? Actually, I have played Call of Duty with subs already. Will I play Call of Duty with subs in the future? Yeah. Um, the reason I don't play Call of Duty with subs more now is just because I'm always... I'm a little bit, I'm a bit of an introvert. Like I like being, I do like being by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I need that. I'm one of those people. I'm pretty sure some of y'all out there can relate. Some maybe can't, but you know, <clears throat> at least try to understand that. So what happens is when I get up in the morning, I'm, I go Uber people, right? I'm with, and I'm, it's cool. I'm not like, people are great. People are really cool, but I just have to be by myself for a certain amount of time. Anyway. You know, with people, I'm dropping them off, we, we're talking, and the, the conversation's always real deep, it's real good, it's great. Then I come home, I'm on the internet, I'm on Twitter, I'm responding to comments, I'm on YouTube responding to comments, I'm doing videos, then I'm streaming live interaction with people. So, when I have time right now to play Call of Duty, I usually like to play by myself. It's usually like 30 minutes, number one. I ain't gonna be on long, because I don't have a lot of time, so I don't really wanna, yo, hit this person, hit this person, because... We ain't really got time like that. You feel me? I'm only going to play three matches and then I'm out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why go through all that? So I jump off, play by myself, and it's kind of it's kind of soothing for me. But sometimes people hit me up at the perfect time like, yo, Flim, I see you on Black Ops 2. I'm on Black Ops 2. What's up? I'm like, cool. I mean, you feel me? I might not join the party and all that stuff because I don't want to hook all of that up. But, you know, 
But later on, like when the new Call of Duty comes out, I'm gonna play by myself first because I gotta learn how to play. I need to play Dolo. I mean, that's how I am a bit, like for a day. And then I do wanna play with subs and we can get on there and, and run and kind of wreck some shot, you know what I mean? So yes, I do plan to do that. Uh, Fancy Jack 39, what is wrong with me? 3429, I can't read numbers. Um, I see the Afro, yes sir. Are you gonna do an Afro journey? By the way, been a big fan since like 8K. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch it up to my Afro journey. Uh, we're actually approaching, we're fast approaching a year. We're about four months away. Four months away from a year. I haven't cut my hair, man, and it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and when y'all see the fro, it's more tame. Like, my fro is way longer than... If you know anything about, uh, you know, about black hair, I'll do this. You know that not all black people's hair, but a lot of it, we got, like, the kinky, curly type of hair. Let me do it like so you can kind of see. <clears throat> kinky, curly type of hair. So it shrinks, basically, because when it curls and coils up, so it shrinks like but right after I wash my hair and stuff like that you can see all in length so when I do my afro journey I'll make sure I at least got some pictures of that or something like that I'm gonna keep it braided up a lot you know what I'm saying but sometimes you'll see the fro sometimes you'll see the braids down the line I might style it like with I might but I'm really right now I'm not thinking that I'm gonna shave the sides or nothing like that but you can I'll never say never but I do want to get to the point where I can kind of rock the box braid look that basically looks like dreads. And who knows, I may even go back to the dreads. But I like the fro because I could take care of my hair way more than I could when I had it twisted. Like when you got the star dreads, there's only so much stuff you can do. You know what I'm saying? But like now, I can wash my hair as often as I need to wash it. I can condition it. And let's not get into all that. We'll talk about that on the Afro journey. <laughs> Um, next up, next up, next up. Um, Richard Mofo, when would you know that your overall, wait, when would you know what your overall is in the game? Um, at IMV? I can't answer that one, bro. I really, I'm not sure. I guess at some point during the development. Um, Lil Hawk228, will you play Man NFL 18 story mode and post it to YouTube? Facts. Um, by the way, I did a series of videos on that yesterday. If y'all haven't seen it, check it out after this. Who do you think is one of the best college football teams of all time? <sighs> I guess you're asking for a year. Um, let's go with the U, whatever year that was that, uh, that Ray was there. Brent Kelman, what is your daily motivation to make you get up and grind every day like you do? Um, I have a lot of them, man. Right? And if you read any like self-help books, I would say you gotta have a strong why. That's facts. You feel me? Because it will get hard. Like it will get so hard, bro. And if your why ain't strong enough, you ain't gonna be able to continue. It's gonna. You feel me? So, um, man, number one, my family, right? Like I am the breadwinner in my house. I always have been. You feel me? And so I have a young son. He's one. I have uh, my girlfriend, we're not married as of yet, but we do plan to make that happen. And I made a decision that affected all of our lives by turning down, like I left a lot of bread on the table when I quit my first job. Then I got another job, another sales job that I made a little less money, but you know, close to about the same. Then when I left that job to go with YouTube full time, you know, I put our futures at stake, but I did it because I understood that I wasn't going to make it in sales. It was driving me crazy. You feel me? And I wasn't going to be able to be the father I wanted to be because I was always in a bad mood. So how? You feel me? Like how? Because I hated what I was doing with my life, you know? So I um, I had to move to, uh, to YouTube. So one of my motivations is I can't fail. I can't fail at this. You feel me? Now, of course, do I have like a backup? Sure, I can get another job in sales like that. I got offered a manager job, paying a decent salary the other day. I didn't tell you. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? It was a hard decision. Uh, that one, even when he offered me that, I, I thought about it. I'm not going to lie. But I've just put too much blood, sweat, and tears into this, man. And I know that this could be something great. 
way, way greater than I'll ever accomplish, you know, in sales. You feel me? Not to mention, this involves sales. I sell to companies all the time. Like, yo, you should sponsor me. You feel me? Hashtag the bag. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, that's basically that's basically what it is, man. And y'all, look, forgive that. Y'all saw that I pulled my hair up. Whatever, I don't care. But, yeah, that that's it. And, like, I'm so close to achieving a dream. Like, and when I say a dream, it's not like a dream, like, man, when I grow up, I'm going to do this. It's like an actual dream. Like, this will never probably happen, but... It would be cool if I could wake up and just play a video game and create every day. You know what I'm saying? And make a living from it. You feel me? And like I'm so much happier and just so much more free. And I want to I want to like keep that. Like my time and my freedom is so important to me. Like it's extremely important. If you ever work in sales, you know, we working 60 65 hours a week. People don't take their off day. You know what I'm saying? That's frowned upon. It's like they have to technically give it to you. They just frowned at me because I would take mine. But I'll be lying if I said I didn't feel some pressure at my second sales job. Because my first one, I ain't feel no pressure because I still was leading the store every month. My second sales job, I wasn't leading the store because I was really working on YouTube the whole time I was there. Like typing up ideas in my phone. Flip, you got a customer, huh? Huh? A week? Oh, uh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you see, I was like so not engaged. I was just doing that because. I needed the money, you know what I'm saying? I did that for a year to supplement till I could go full time on YouTube. I almost dropped my phone, but I caught it. Um, all right, here we go. Film low 40K. Okay, W. Watkins asks, how do you manage all your responsibilities with your son, your girl, your home, and still manage to get multiple videos out every day? Man, I grind, bro. And, you know, let's give you, let's give you the, the deeper answer. Number one, I get up early. I get up super, super early. I get up 4.30. If some days I, I oversleep, I might get up at 5.30. If I sleep in, I get up at 6.15. 6.15, I'm sleeping in. You feel me? But if I get up at 6.15, my day is thrown off. So anyway, generally, I get up at 4.30. I spend about 30 minutes to myself. 30, I, sometimes I give myself an hour if I need it. You know, I'm reading a book, probably an audio book. All the lights is off. I go in the living room. You know, my eyes are closed. But I'm awake. My brain is soaking up whatever book I'm reading. And that kind of gets me going. You know what I'm saying? Then we hop up. We jump on Uber. And I, I schedule out everything. You feel me? We jump on Uber. We do that from about 6 to 10. Right? After that, we come in. Well, no. Actually, after that, on gym days, we go to the gym. Um, I start going back to the gym in my apartment complex because it saves me some time. I, I work out in about 30 minutes. I mean, it's a quick workout. Um, get that done. Back at the house. And by 11, I'm usually getting out of the shower. And by 11.30, if I'm hungry, I'll eat. If I'm not hungry yet, I'll start recording. And basically from 11 to about 7 now, I'm working on YouTube. My schedule has changed a few times. I used to go have to go pick up my son, but me and my girl arranged to where as long as I'm doing Uber, she will pick him up. You know what I'm saying? But basically, the way you manage it is you just schedule everything out. You got to be willing to get up earlier. That's the key. Get up earlier. You can get way more done. Um, a lot of people, I, I pride myself on this, man, because before I was doing Uber, I get up the same time, maybe 5.30. But by the time, um, yo, this is like driving me crazy, that one hair is sticking up because I pulled it up trying to show my length. <laughs> but like by the time um, most YouTubers probably get out the bed and post rise and grind, <laughs> oh, we're grinding over here. I'm like, man, I already did two videos, man. What are you talking about, boy? And it ain't even like a competition like that. But it's just within myself. It's like, I just want to know I'm outworking everybody, right? If I feel like I'm outworking everybody all the time, you can't, I can't lose. Not in the long run, you feel me? And like, I take what I perceive as plenty of L's. Let's, I mean, I'll be competing in my mind with way bigger YouTubers, but sometimes I'm winning, I'm winning those competitions, but it always keep me on my toes. So, um, you gotta balance everything out. I actually wrote a book about this. I haven't released it yet, but I probably will release it soon. Um, my girl's gonna be starting her own YouTube channel right now, and I'm so happy because I ain't had nothing to do with it. You feel me? Like, I ain't push her to do it or nothing. Like, when she asked me about it, I was like, man, you gotta really want it. I won't go. You feel me? Because you got to. 
And then when she started taking those steps and doing it, I was like, okay, she's done it. Great. Anyway, but yeah, you just gotta you gotta schedule it out. You gotta get up early. That's how you do it. Um, Ryan, Mark Ryan Thomas, can you grow a huge ass afro until you get 50k? Um, I don't know when I'm gonna cut my fro. I don't plan to cut it anytime soon, so that's probably gonna be yes, except for the until part. Um, are we gonna get to see TD? But keep in mind, you ain't gonna see the fro as much as the fro gets bigger. You'll start to see braids more, different styles of braids, as I can do that. And then I may eventually try to lock it up again. I'm not sure. Um, are we gonna get to see TD's dad go to college as a what if scenario? And congrats on 40K. Definitely my favorite YouTube video. Thank you, JD. I don't know, man. It depends. Like, if the uh, demand for that is really high, sure. Uh, I'm not planning to do it right now. But if people are like, yo, you need to, then I'll do it if, if the demand is high enough. Um, are you gonna start another RTG when Dre goes to the NFL and AD becomes computer controlled? Absolutely. Um, there will always be RTG. There'll always be RTG. So every time one leaves, another one's coming in. Um, would you ever do an online dynasty with your subs? That's from Tanner Barrett. Uh, possibly. Possibly. I'm actually thinking about something right now. I'm not sure, but I might. Um, Keontre Hayes. <clears throat> What's your opinion on Kevin Durant leaving OKC and joining the Warriors? I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just more old school, more built like that. I'm more of a loyal type of guy and and when i say that i don't mean you can't leave in free agency i don't have an issue with them leaving i just didn't like the fact they went to the team that beat them number one the team that they were up three it's just all the circumstances surrounding it right and that's what most people don't understand like people can't really um look at the details of a situation i always say intelligence is kind of like a black and white tv versus a 4k tv the 4K TV being the more intelligent, it can see all the little intricate details where the black and white TV can only see the outline and just they can't get past that. That's most people when it comes to the situation. But for me, the details surrounding it, your team was up 3-1 versus this team, okay? You should have won, but you choked. And you was the leader. You let your team down, you feel me? And then, not only that, you let your team down, then you went to the team that beat them and came back and jumped them again. You feel me like, bro, how? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like me and two of my partners get into a fight and one of us is a, a UFC fighter. You know, in this situation, he the leader, right? He's the most talented fighter of us all. And we got these dudes. We, we up, we, we winning. But he don't close the deal for us. You know what I'm saying? We've been rocking all this time. He don't close the deal for us. Okay, it happens. But then, next time I see him, he with them. And then they come jump us. You know, like, that's... Come on, bro. That's what KD did in my mind. And I can't get past that. Like, that bothers me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention, he went to the, the greatest team ever and won 73 games and broke Michael Jordan's record. Already had the first unanimous MVP on the team. It's so much. It's so much, man. And a team that would have been favorites to win the championship even if KD didn't go there. That says a lot. When you're the second best player in the world and that's the choice you make, it says a lot about your character to me. Next, the Seahawks fan. What school in VR do you think you'll send your son to? I don't think we'll be living in VR by the time my son is in school. Um, Jonathan Stevens, would you ever consider doing a meetup at some point during your YouTube career? Absolutely. Once I think I've got, I'm have got, i big enough and I'm in an area where I got a lot of subs at, absolutely. I'll be happy to. Um, when will you do um, the Last Chance You Dynasty again? After Last Chance You Season 2 comes out. Oh, that was asked by a D1 bound. So after the next season comes out, and they just announced that I did a video on that this past week as well. It's dropping July for 21st, July 21st. Um, Charlie Berger, I want to try out for a football freshman year. I've had tons of injuries since third grade. Should I still try out? Um, I already sent, but messed up. I have low vitamin D and my bones are brittle. Should I try out for freshman football? I can't answer that one for you, Charlie. Honestly, bro. That's the decision you have to make because you gotta look. You got all the you got way more information than I do. Like as far as your bone situation, um, first off, don't get down on yourself. You feel me? Even if it's not football directly, 
then there's other things that you will be able to do that are extremely fulfilling that last a lot longer than football careers last anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you've spoken to your doctors. If you haven't spoken to your doctors, you got to speak to your doctors, bro. Is it safe for you to do? If they say it's safe, but yo, you got to take these precautions, that means you're going to have to outwork everybody. That means you got to do everything the doctor says, time 10, to strengthen your bones as much as possible, build your muscle up around that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to go way harder than everybody else. If you're prepared to do that, and if they say it's okay, then maybe you think about going into football. If not, maybe you go a different route. Marv X, did you play football in high school, college? If so, what position? Yes, yes, wide receiver. Um, MJ Humphreys, Flimlo 40K, any tips to get better at cornerback in real life? I don't. I, never, I didn't play. Like, I played cornerback in real life when I was, like, in high school, like, before I played receiver. That's because the receivers were stacked and I was athletic, but I wasn't like, I didn't have any technique. There was no real coaching at my high school. I was just, it was fast and I was tall, so they put me in a corner. So I, I really, I really can't help with that, bro. Um, would you rather be a top five NFL player or a YouTuber with 50 million subs? YouTuber with 50 million subs. That's easy. That's super, super easy. Um, I, I'll explain why. Um, number one, as much as y'all see how I love football, like my injuries, number one, have, are crazy. They're small nagging injuries, but like my turf toe and my hamstrings, it's just so much small stuff. If you think about it, I hadn't gone to the field, I've gone to the field three, four times in the last seven years. I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? I would go way more often if I had friends who were active and wanted to go more often. Honestly, I would, because I, I like going. It's still fun for me. But, you know, YouTube, is just way different youtube brings so many different opportunities and it, it allows i'm more creative i'm more i love being creative more than i love being athletic also it lasts way longer right like youtube you now technically the ad thing could hit you and you can hit but if i had 50 million subscribers like me like you know what i could do with that as far as working with companies and setting this up and all the opportunities that's going to provide and i hustle i'm not just sitting back yeah i got 50 million like i ain't built like that so you know at the end of the day 50 million subs easy man matter of fact um i'd rather a oh, half a mil i'll take a half a mil sub over being a top nfl player i might take less than that i don't know but half a mil i can say with sheer confidence without you putting a lot of thought into it um what was your favorite moment from the td series and the ad series that's from textbook train uh my favorite moment from the td series man my favorite moment from the td series it's a lot of great moments great moments man that's hard bro my favorite moment from the AD series is uh, probably that run that is the intro and winning the national championship. My favorite moment from the TD series is probably like my first interception in the NFL for pick six. Because that was hard, man, for me. Because I just wasn't, I wasn't playing mad at all. And so I had jumped on playing a corner, which is not easy. <laughs> and it was a struggle. So that probably was my favorite moment. But all of college was my favorite moment for TV. Like, I, that was, it was real fun. I got to really show off my skills a lot for the first time. Um, and just, you know, just do the thing that I'm probably the best at. And I say the best, not saying better than everybody else. I'm saying, like, it's probably my best attribute in um, NCAA. I got to really show that off. And that was a, a lot, a lot of fun, you know. It's, it's always fun when you do a series and every week people ask you, what, what level are you playing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people are super skeptical because you're just going off and they just can't believe that somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway. UTEP or Rutgers? Uh, Cannon Bros. Axe. That's a very hard question. Uh, UTEP still. UTEP still. You know, it, it's always going to be hard. When y'all put people up against TD, y'all put people up against UTEP, those were my first series of their kinds you know what i'm saying you took my first dynasty td my first real rtg story and it's just so much sentimental value as a creative you know that birth my channel like you feel me like those two series right there of course we were running a long time before td came out i was at about 20k but it just it branched us off into a whole nother stratosphere and a whole nother like now 
the TD, it's not even the TD stuff, but the RTG stuff is probably the most viewed stuff on my channel. I know my Dynasty crowd is super strong and probably one of the best crowds because y'all, the comment section in Dynasty is always amazing. They always have great insight and great, you know what I'm saying? I love that. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, so I, I would still have to say YouTube. Can we expect to see more IRL vids in the future? Uh, absolutely. Now this, I'm assuming it was before I posted the one yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna be doing like a road to, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. Prime condition, road to prime condition. I wanna get back in prime shape, man. I lost a lot doing Uber because I already do YouTube where I'm sitting down eight to 10 hours a day. Then I have to drive every day. I'm getting up super early and a lot of times I wasn't getting my workouts and when I did get my workouts I wasn't getting a good as good a workout as I probably should you know what I'm saying I wasn't getting no cardio so I want to get back in shape I'm getting back to the point where I'm not gonna be doing uber at least for the next month or two and praying oh my god I'm praying that I never have to do it again and it's not that it was so bad it's just that the what it means for me is bad it means I'm not making enough money doing my main thing so now i'm having to take time off of my main thing to go and do this and that just creates all kinds of issues man all right man i think that's gonna do it i'm going on about 40 minutes here some of the spaces and stuff will be cut out so this will probably be somewhere between like 35 30 minutes um i may do another one for the comments that were left on youtube if if this gets a good you know, depending on how many likes this gets, I may go back and do one for the comment stuff on YouTube. I'll probably do a little disclaimer at the beginning and let people know. If people are digging this, then I might do another one for those questions. Because I've got some questions over on YouTube too, but those are all the Twitter ones, man. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for 40,000 subscribers. I'm going to holler at you next time. My name is Flamlo Raps.